Cursor 2.0 just dropped a few days ago, so let's talk about it. For those of you who don't know, Cursor is an AI-powered tool that helps you write, fix, and understand code much faster. Think of it like ChatGPT or Claude Code, but built specifically in your editor for coding. The first upgrade is that Cursor 2.0 now has its own LLM called Composer. It's built for software engineers. It helps you generate code, edit it, and debug it. It's also said to be four times faster than any other LLM we have outside. However, the results are a bit controversial. A few different tests were made with Composer against other models such as ChatGPT5 and Claude Code, and it turned to be rather lackluster. However, it depended on what the context was. In some cases, it was able to produce code much faster and much better than the other models. The second thing is the multi-agent system, which is arguably one of the best features that they just added. In this, basically, instead of having one AI model do everything for you, you can divide the work amongst different AI models and then produce the code that way. You can either use the different models to generate different variants of the same code and then select whichever code you like or works best with your previous code, or you can get them to work simultaneously at different tasks. For example, one code can generate it whilst the other one tests it because each agent now has their own workspace. This also allows for another feature upgrade, which was smarter workflows. They did this so that the different LLMs do not interfere with each other's code and mess up the entire thing. They also added in built-in browser and coding review tools. The AI can now search documentation, SDKs, and everything that comes with it, and produce the best code with the most up-to-date uh, information on that specific code snippet, for example. It can also run tests and retrieve data instantly, so there's no more need to switch tabs. And honestly, this feature might be one of the greatest features because as a person that's vibe coded in the past, I can tell you that the AI model not being informed about the most up-to-date information was the biggest problem I was having when it came to coding because it wasn't following the right documentation. It was following a rather old version and that version didn't work anymore. So libraries were messed up and it was creating a lot of problems. So the AI now being able to search up the most up-to-date information is groundbreaking. And not to mention one of the last few updates is that you can now use your voice to talk with cursor and help you code. And they also fixed up the UI and made it a little bit more user friendly. And now it's as if you're talking to an agent rather than dealing with files. So it makes it a bit more intuitive when you're vibe coding. The whole coder just feels more smoother, faster, and it feels as if it's easier to understand in a way. But with all of this new update features, it begs the question, is vibe coding slash AI coding finally going to kill software engineers or real coding jobs? We'll talk about that in the next video.